I mean, again, he, he doesn't know who Gabriel is, right? Because he didn't come from an Abrahamic faith. The people of Mecca were pagan. The Quran has mentioned if this book was from other than God, they would have found in it many contradictions. If a book is without contradictions, that has no bearing on whether it comes from God or not. I've had phone books that are inerrant, but I certainly don't think God gave them. <laughs> that we believe without understanding. The brothers asked a very important question that most of the scholars say that listening to music, watching movies, and most of the television programs, they're haram. So how can we have fun? Let me tell you, brother, at the outset, that having fun is permitted in Islam as long as the fun is halal fun. <laughs> that the standard narrative has holes. The prophet That's tells us because Satan or the devil sleeps over our nostrils. Those who oversleep and not pray Fajr on time, Satan urinates in their ears. I really do think Jesus was crucified and that he really was dead and buried. He, he thought that he was a son of God in the sense that he was specially chosen by God. I think Jesus really did think he was going to be the Messiah, the future king of Israel. I mean, that is, after all, why they crucified him. Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. Uh, please invite your friends and let us have some good halal fun together. Uh, you know, uh, from time to time we get a call from a person, he is from Senegal. And this person, I don't want to speak bad about people from Senegal, I don't know them. But I hope he is not the best example of them. Uh, this kind of a man, he says something. And secondly, he denied that he said what he said, even though we have it all recorded. Uh, yesterday he called me, and uh, I like what he said, because he said something very important. When we said to him, uh, didn't you, actually, why I want to say to you what I said to him, let us listen to what he said, so we can laugh together. This is just from two days ago. Ultimate thought calling me. This is the stupid you again? Let yes, us go sir. Back. Do you remember last time what happened? Uh, you ran. I, I suppose ran, you I ran. ran. You said to me that this guy, Rashad Khalifa, did not change the Quran. I'm, I'm lying. You said to me that Ahmed Didat, he did not say that this is have a lot of errors. And we got you busted. And we got even recording of the video of okay, Rashad Khalifa saying there's two verses in the Quran. They are added. It's recorded, right? It's recorded. It's there. Said, okay, now can I talk? Can I speak? No, did you say that or not? I did not, I said, I will repeat uh -huh. exactly what I said. Uh -huh. You said that Rashad Halifa removed two verses from the Quran. I he, said, no. Yes. He removed two verses that are not from the Quran. He is saying exactly what he said last time. Let us go to the video of last time. I mean, this guy, he have no shame. He is, you know, but look what he just said. He said, Rashad Khalifa, he removed verses which is not from the Quran, which means the Muslims for the last 1400 years, they have Quran, have verses is not from the Quran. And finally, Rashad Khalifa, which is the messenger of Allah, according to the people of Senegal, now they, worship, they follow him, they don't follow Muhammad no more. He took what is not from the Quran, okay, you, you stupid. If he took off what is not from the Quran, that's mean he took it from the Quran. That's mean the Quran is corrupted. And this is what he took off a few years ago, which means for the last 1400 years, Quran have false verses in the Quran. And if there is a verse or two or 10 are false, that's mean the book cannot be trusted. Now he said, I will say exactly what I said. We heard him, exactly what he said. What he said? He said exactly what I said, that he took off what is not of the Quran. Let us go on to the, uh, the previous video and see, did he say that really? Or this guy is lying. 
Listen, don't don't go there. Don't go there. We can go there after. We can go there after. Let us finish this one. So listen, listen, listen. So now, why your why your Muslim translation in front of us says you said to me you accept Rashad Khalifa translation before, correct? One verse from the Bible. You I could immediately talk about Umar Abdul, all day. Abdul, Abdul, you said you accept Rashad Khalifa translation. Did you say that? Get out of here, man. Did you say to me? Did you say to me you accept Rashad Khalifa? That's so I after five translations, he's among them. Yes. Okay, but Rashad Khalifa, Rashad Khalifa, he took verses from the Quran. No, he did, he never took any verse from the Quran. Okay. Did you That's see? What we did you see? He said he said exactly. He remember what he said that Rashad Khalifa did not. Uh, he took verses which is not from the Quran. But the fact he said Rashad Khalifa never took any verse from the Quran. However, both uh, both things will lead into one thing that the Quran is corrupted. And this is showing us how stupid this man is. He keep calling us to prove that Islam is right. And now he is agreeing that the Quran for 1400 years is a book have verses inserted in the Quran. And I cannot believe it that there is some people they have a shame to the point they deny what they said when we are recording. The video in front of you, you can go watch it. And this is the title of the video. Here we go. How Prophet Rashad Khalifa BPUH exposed the false Muslims. Go listen to the whole audio and you will see this is exactly what this idiot he said. And we just play it for you. He said never, he never took anything from the Quran. Now he changed. He claimed that he did not say that. He said that he took off what is not of the Quran. But he, we just heard him saying he never take off anything. So uh, all of them, they are the same. They make one lie and then to cover the first lie, they have to make another lie and the lies never end. But the accomplishment we have from his statement as long he agree that uh, Rashad Khalifa, he took off verses which is not from the Quran, which means the Quran has verses are not from the God of Islam. And this is what he agreed upon. Khalifa did not change the Quran, I'm, I'm lying. You said to me that Ahmad Didat, he did not say that this is have a lot of errors and we got you busted and we got even recording of the video. Of okay, Rashad let's... Khalifa saying there's two verses in the Quran, they are added. It's recorded, right? It's recorded, it's there. He said, okay, now can I stop? Can I speak? No, did you say that or not? I did not. I said, I will repeat uh -huh. exactly what Exactly. Listen, he will repeat exactly what he said. But if you watch the whole video, he never said that. You know, there is no shame for this religion. I will repeat exactly what I said. And we have the video in front of us, and he did not say what he is saying. I will repeat exactly. Okay, repeat exactly. What I said. Uh -huh. You said that Rashad Halifa removed two verses from the Quran. I said, no. Yes. He removed two verses that are not from the Quran. See, now he's supposed to he fix it. But look how big the finger he gave to his prophet. So now we need to understand that for the last 1400 years, the Quran was corrupted. And then there is a guy, his name is Rashad Khalifa. He was able to discover, according to this Senegal Muslims, uh, that Quran has verses which is not from the Quran. So he took it off. So he's saying now he did not take off from the Quran. He took the false verses from the Quran. But that will not change anything. And as long, and actually not only that, uh, the, the video of uh, Rashad Khalifa, he says, that uh, why Allah, he allowed those verses to be inserted in the Quran all those years. Why Allah, he allowed those verses to be inserted So now what we have, we have a Quran proven to be from people from Senegal and people from Pakistan. This is a 
باكستاني جاي رشاد خليفه از اي نو اي ثينك اند وات ايفر هيز فولوورز دي اجري ذات ذا قران از ا كوربتد بوك ناو از لونج رشاد خليفه واز ايبل تو ديسكفر ذس ديسكفري ميبي ان ا فيو ييرز فروم ناو وي ويل فايند انذر مسلم هي ديسكفر مور فيرسز to be inserted in the Quran. How we know, I mean, and why Allah, the Muslim, they give us headache that the Quran is preserved. And then we find that the Muslim saying now that Allah allow, allow those verses to be inserted in the Quran. Look what he just said. He said Allah himself, he permitted that. Did he just say that? Translation. Or why did God allow two verses, false verses, to be injected in the Quran? Did you hear he why the God allow two verses to be injected in the Quran? So the Muslims, after all this stupid statement, they still believe that it's Allah who did it. <laughs> because when you say Allah allow. It's mean Allah allow. It's mean Allah is a partner in the deception. So why Allah allow to insert verses in his book? It is not from him. And the Muslims in Senegal, they agree that Allah allow verses to be inserted in the Quran and they are not from the Quran. That's mean we cannot trust Allah. Look at this God. According to Muslim, he allow the Bible to be corrupt. He allow the Torah to be corrupt. Allah, he sent 124,000 messengers, all their books is corrupt, he allow it. And now we find that even the Quran, Allah, he allow verses of corruption to be in the Quran. What's wrong with this God? Who is a Muslim can tell me why Allah allow it? Why Allah allow it? What is the wisdom? Translation. Or why did God allow two verses, false verses, to be injected in the Quran for 1400 years? Why did he permit it why? for 1400 years? Why? And it's because the, just a few years after the Prophet's death, they reverted to idolatry. The Muslims reverted. But look what he just said. Look at the excuse, guys. Because the Muslims now became adulterers. They are, they are pagan. So now Allah allow to send more verses to deceive them. And this, what, this is the stupid religion. So now, instead of correcting them, he sent them verses to deceive them more. <laughs> I mean, how in the world does this religion work? Satanic verses, Omar Khattab make verses, ultimate party take verses, Rashad Khalifa he add verses, take verses, and Allah he allow verses to be injected in the Quran as if it's a turkey. Injected. He allow it. Why he allow it? Because the Muslims are pagans. They become pagans a few years after Islam. Listen carefully, I'm not the one who's saying that. And we heard ultimate fart. He's a big sheikh in, in Senegal, by the way. Yeah, he do pizza delivery as full time, but sheikh part time. Allah allow it because the Muslims are pagan. And he agree, Muslims are pagan. They are black stone kissers. They worship stones. They bow down to a stone. They pray in the direction of a stone. And even when they fight shaitan, they throw stones. All their religion is based on stones. It's from the Stone Age anyway. So Allah injected his Turkey, the Quran, by two verses. Why? Because the Muslims become pagans. And it's because the just a few years after the Prophet's death, they reverted to idolatry. See? The Muslims reverted. But look what he just said. Anyway. Uh, I wanted just to share this video. It's going to. Uh, I decided to make it short, so you guys can download easy and share. This is very important for us and those people. They are uh, priceless because they help us to expose the stupidity of Muhammad and the stupidity of his God. 
and how those people are really confused. They don't know what to worship, what to follow, what not to follow. And if there is two verses are injected, what is the who is and is a lie allowed? What is going to be the, the next surprise? There's chapters are injected. What is the next surprise? For the last 1400 years, Allah allow injecting verses in the Quran. I'm not going to be surprised if later Muslims they start saying that the verses about the sun set in muddy water, boiling water, this is injected. The verses about how Allah he created the earth and the heaven because they are scientifically stupid is injected. The sperm coming from the backbone of the man and the woman, she have a sperm coming from her ribs, is injected. Anything is an embarrassment to Allah and his followers, is injected. I wonder what the Muslims will inject in their God ass in the future. Because their injections never stop. It was injected. And today, we injected Muhammad with more nails in his coffin. So people will see how stupid this religion is. Very silly, very stupid. And if anyone, he is thinking for a second that Islam is a religion, well, that's mean you have a mental illness. Because what kind of religion promising you, if you believe in me, I will make your penis endless and you will if a lot of women. You must be coming from the ifing land. And you have an if in mind. And you have an if in future. To believe in the if in God. For only people of if in, they believe of God who vendor of if in. For nothing in their head except he if, she if. Everybody if. It is the if in God inviting you to the if in land. Which is an if in heaven. Which everybody if everybody. Good for you. Enjoy your F. And you never know. Maybe those F in verses are injected too. Who knows? It's an F in Quran. Thank you very much for being here. May the Lord bless you all. And I apologize if our language is not appropriate, but we are speaking about appropriate religion, filthy cult, religion of F in, as you see. Take care. I mean, again, he, he doesn't know who Gabriel is, right? Because he didn't come from an Abrahamic faith. The people of Mecca were pagan. Quran has mentioned if this book was from other than God, they would have found in it many contradictions. If a book is without contradictions, that has no bearing on whether it comes from God or not. I've had phone books that are inerrant, but I certainly don't think God gave them. <laughs> that we believe without understanding. The brother asked a very important question that most of the scholars say that listening to music, watching movies, and most of the television programs, they're haram. So how can we have fun? Let me tell you, brother, at the outset, that having fun is permitted in Islam as long as the fun is halal fun. <laughs> that the standard narrative has holes. The prophet tells us because Satan or the devil sleeps over our nostrils. Those who oversleep and not pray Fajr on time, Satan urinates in their ears. I really do think Jesus was crucified and that he really was dead and buried. He, he thought that he was a son of God in the sense that he was specially chosen by God. I think Jesus really did think he was going to be the Messiah, the future king of Israel. I mean, that is, after all, why they crucified him, 